after leaving the Trentham Lock, it's quite a way before we reach what I consider the Stoke Locks proper. These locks take us up to Etruria, which is the summit of the Trentham Mersey Canal, before we carry on and go through Harecastle Tunnel. I have absolutely no idea what these hands are all about. I'm sure there's somebody out there that does. Well, I assume by now that most of you know that I enjoy fishing occasionally, or quite often really. I do it quite regular from the back of the boat. Well, looking through the edge here, right next to the canal, look, there's a fishing lake. Well, that's a big old chimney in front of us here, isn't it? I have no idea where it is. Perhaps we'll find out as we go past the building. I do not see any signs on the side of the building, so I'm still none the wiser really to what the building is. I do see some big rolls which could be paper, so it's possibly a paper mill. Don't quote me on that. Anyone knows what it is? Please let me know in the comments. When I see old buildings along the side like this, old wharf here obviously at one time, it makes me wonder what they were. Was it potteries as we're in Stoke? Quite possibly. Now you can tell it's been backfilled over the top of most of the buildings. And there it's a car park for lorries. I guess that's a lorry park then. Oh, well, we have a little junction here in the canal, look. I wonder what this was. Was it just to a wharf, I'm assuming? Probably a pottery's wharf, but I don't really know. I'm only guessing. We seem to have mainly GRPs along here. That is glass reinforced plastic. But there is the odd narrow boat thrown in for good measure. The name of this company sort of appealed to my warped sense of humour. That's why I filmed it. Look here, look, when they abbreviate their name, they lose the bottom. Oh dear, that's not so good. The canal walls collapse quite badly here. The lock's full, so I'll have to empty it as there's no boats coming. Known by this sign, it was only 10 miles ago we were halfway. That was two weeks ago for me. Last year when I came up these locks, Rob the Lock helped me up through them. I unfortunately have heard since that he's extremely unwell. Um, I think it's terminal, unfortunately, but we do wish him a recovery, hopefully. And here's the first reason why I took the chimney down. It's an extremely low bridge, and I think the next one's even lower. Well that is Stoke Locks done now, we're now on the summit of the Trenton Mersey Canal and I've come just around the corner onto the Cordon Canal and I'm mooring at Etruria overnight. As you can see from these pictures possibly you can recognise it as Etruria. Well I'd like to thank of course all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, everybody for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that old bell notification button 
That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video, which is going to be probably a little irregular now uh, because I'm going to put up more videos than I have in the past, but they will be shorter like this one. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor Ames.